I've been covering Hong Kong since 2006 and protests are nothing new there. But the attitude in that city has changed dramatically. Attempts by the authorities to prevent this march from taking place have failed pretty dismally. As this story has unfolded, the amount of equipment we've taken with us has become less and less because you've got to be able to move fast and you do have to be on your feet at all times and it can be quite dangerous. And every week it seems to get worse. But one day I was moving in the direction of where I thought we could cross the police line and then whack! What must have hit me was a rubber bullet. So it is hard to see how this is going to be resolved. In a situation like this you have to be level-headed we observe and we report as fair as we can. 